Okay, I collected some some point of view, my point of view. I don't know, could you see it or not? Back. So I hear you, Zoli. Nem, hogy ők. Jó? Oké. Jó. Oké. I collected some points. What are the actual problem of handball nowadays? And I ask you, please be active and contribute your opinions. It is just mine. You can uh, add the new one. The first is the refereeing. Uh, refereeing. And the uh, main point is uh, objectivities. But how could be uh, the referee's objective? The first point, the rules and the interpretation. I think we have a lot of uh, rule, rules in handball which are not uh, objective. Just I turn the flip chart. Okay. So, first of all, passive play. What do you think about it? I will tell you what I think. It is everything but not uh, objective. Because I have the question, why six, after six passes, and when they start to show the warning, passive warning, it depends on the referees. The good rules are objective, I said. Uh, I'm sure later or earlier, but we have to have also the attacker time. Just look at team sports. Who has attacker time? Water polo, yes? Okay, uh, basketball, why? Because they can catch the ball every time and they cannot take the ball like in football, ice hockey, but they have also uh, different, uh, different rules as uh, upside and so in ice hockey also. So the rule could be objective. We can discuss about, or the experts, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 30 seconds. But if you know that you have the time, 20 seconds, then it's your aim in these 20 seconds score a goal or not. What do you think about it? The second one, the attacker fouls. It is also not clear. We have to clarify, like in basketball. Basketball, it could be an attacker foul. When? Do you know? If they uh, defend uh, with both legs are on the court. So, Jerko. Yeah. Okay. Something outside the circle, I don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just half circle, so when you stand outside, then it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. But why ice hockey and water polo and this three seconds rule in bot, uh, basketball, uh, they help, they're more dynamic in the game. So I read about, as you know, the Hungary is the top team in water polo for, I don't know. No, no, Croatia also the top. Hey, the top team is not just one team. This is, I know. But, but wait, 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 wait. We are coming again. So the basketball in the 20s, so the last century, they played without uh, attack at time. And what did they do? The Hungarian team, they shot a goal, and afterward uh, they gained the ball again, and the last 20 minutes just passing the ball. It was, of course, boring. That's why these rules, they, they uh, uh, supported the dynamic and so the modern uh, sport. Different violation, different punishment. 
I offered someone two minutes and three minutes because I am the substitu uh, substituted and I make this one. What is it? So I step in the rule before, uh, before the changing the other players. Which punishment is two minutes? Yes, of course. And there comes something and bang! What is it? Also two minutes. So I think it is not in balance. So that is my thinking. Different violation, different punishment. So it's not not so much not two minutes, one minute, one and a half minutes, five minutes. But the referees, or for example, I don't put the ball down. Yeah. If they, uh, they miss after the whistling, and that's also two minutes, and I am really tough. Okay, you can say uh, oh, red card, red card, but the red card is for the referees. It's not so easy to give, yeah. But this is also two minutes, or the really uh, rough or tough fouls, also two minutes. It's double punishment, double punishment. Sometimes I don't know what do you think about. I watch really a lot of matches because we are very lucky in Hungary. Uh, sometimes, weekly, we could watch 10 matches. Bundesliga, Champions League, Hungarian uh, participants, not Hungarian participants. And a lot of time, uh, I think about it, the double, punish, double punishment. That means goal and two minutes, or seven meters and two minutes, which one are not necessary. So sometimes it's too much, too much for for a pushing or something. I I I I usually tell for the referees, okay, that's why it's seven meter because it was a fall, but not necessary to give to two minutes. Uh, then again, a very important point: obviously violation by pivot and against the pivot. I think now it's the. One of the biggest problems is the refereeing. Because if you watch, if you watch the match, who did first? The pivot, one hand, one hand, okay, right handed. The take or the keep the defender, the shirt or the body far from them, take the ball, and the defender. Yeah. One time. So some years ago, five or so, uh, they focused the referees, and it was also then every time if somebody makes something against the pivot, immediately two minutes. But nowadays, if you watch the matches, please don't forget what I said now about it. And player for goalkeeper, it is a little bit uh, so vision, maybe, maybe not. I think the modification of the rule, as you know, before they could take the tricot and could change for the players, and now every every player could go without without uh, uh, a goalkeeper uh, jersey. But I have the idea: why cannot go someone in the goal after the losing ball? Yeah? That is my idea. We can we can discuss about it. Maybe not. It should be also very attractive when I as a player go in the goal, yeah, and I will save the shot. Then everybody will be very happy. Wow, super. Okay. So much about it. Then I will turn again. Okay. Number of the players, especially at the men matches and the top matches, I have the feeling the six players simply too much. No place, no place for the action, no place for one against one, because it is like a concrete wall. Yeah, in the center, four players, two meters over two meters, very strong. Maybe it is also just an idea, just to thinking about it. Maybe to reduce the number of the players. Maybe just to try to play with five players. You can play with pivot, 
and two players in the back position or three players in the back position. It should be, it should be, I think it should be uh, more attractive because more plays, the transition, so the meaning of the transition, it will be uh, increased. Uh, then we can, we can uh, speak about the size of the boards, goals and court, but it's our aim. So some ideas, bigger goal, smaller ball, as you know, the women and the, and the youth areas, they start uh, the, the checks already. And, and the result of that checking was really satisfied for the experts. <coughs> Competition and preparation season of the national team and the top club teams. Uh, it is very important question, I think. Here, I collected for the last one and a half year, it's not in two years, 2016, uh, uh, for the men, top teams, uh, European Championship in Poland, then afterward, for some teams, it's qualifi Olympic qualification uh, tournament. And, and this year, the same year, Olympic Games in Rio, 2017 World Championship in France, 2018 European Championship in Croatia, and all the three years and two and a half years, uh, Champions League and European Cup matches, plus national championship, national cup, and some for some team, Seha, uh, Seha League. So you know this. I think the loading at the players, and it is just just in the few period, plus study, job, family. Holiday, friends, girlfriend, not girlfriend, just just for girlfriend. So it is, it is, it is not, yeah. No, boyfriend, but it is a man. Okay. No, it could be, it could be. We cannot close, we cannot close out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we we understand each other. Okay. So, I collected these points. And now I would like to hear what do you think about it. You've got the topics of discussion, so what do I think about it? Anybody? Only one. Only one. Uh, Mr. Perkovic. But I think uh, the biggest problem without, uh, with, with the referees is that, uh, that we are professionals, that they are amateurs, and we train every day two times, and they train two times in a month or, or in a week, and I don't know. And they make decisions for our life. When one decision, they, they can destroy our future or something like that. That's the problem. They have to be semi-professional or professional. All right. Okay. You. The next one. Uh, I think that the first uh, topic, the timing uh, for the attack, so if we may measure the, the time, that will be, <clears throat> in my opinion, a good thing because it will increase the game. And in the same time, like we coaches uh, wanted to say, it will give the, the power of referee a little bit down because when it's a passive a attack, a referee have the major influence. Like we said, when this passive attack starts, uh, these six passes can be sometimes eight. And uh, you know when is the usually a game when we decide about winning and losing the game, this kind of situation can uh, rule our <laughs> dreams. And for the referees, equal, because they are just doing the job and they will get paid, and we coaches will get fired because we lose the game. Uh, yeah. So that's maybe one of, of opinion. Okay, thank you. Same topic. I give you another opinion. For example, in basketball, when they make a foul, they cut the time, right? Uh, so it takes longer to play this game. For nowadays, we have like TV marketing, everything. So our attraction, you say your own hypnotic game, 
is that we continue playing all the time really fast. This is our advantage. So if we just, uh, for example, if, yeah, if, if we cut every time for a foul, for example, if I'm defender, I will try to always make a foul, push the ball away, and whatever. It, either if you cut the time, it takes longer time, it's boring. People who come to see handball, they usually want because of, they see action all the time compared to other disciplines. Yeah, yeah. But, but nowadays, when we just uh, we keep on rolling, I think the time is quite optimal. For example, there are two choices. Okay, if you let let to play without cutting, so defender makes all the time foul. I don't know. Let's say like it used to be, 45 seconds is almost running off. I just push the ball away, and they can't stop the time because the rules are different. Or if they stop the time, it's going to take long, long time. So I think it's quite optimal at the moment for the TV marketing, for the spectators. It is not just in basketball, in the water polo also. They stop the, they stop the water. Yeah, yeah, but it actually makes the time longer if it's... Yeah, it it's lasts longer and uh, it's not going to be like, like, for example, in volleyball, they change the rules because they want the game to be shorter, to suitable for TV, everything. We want to marketing our discipline also, right? Thank you, yes. That's, that's, I need your opinion. That's, I am not a judge, nothing. So I haven't, uh, <laughs> but it's, thank you. It's good. Hello. Thank you. In basketball also, when you have free throw, they, they uh, have penalties and then it's the ball to change the direction and at house sports they don't or maybe when you have uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds then you need what is when they have uh, five, five penalties or the five, five, five fouls in this time or we can do it 10 or 15 fouls. It's, yes, yes. I told you, I, am, I think about it, we can discuss how long time has to be. But to get objective in this area, my opinion, we need it. Just also, I think this uh, point that you said, that the one from the players to go on the, on the, on the goal, to, to be a goalkeeper, it uh, would be very complicated because when the two players go there or... or uh, Two minutes and <laughs> penalty immediately. That is, we can solve this problem also. Just, yeah. um, I just re remember, uh, for me, one of the uh, weird rules and new rules is that these three attacks when physio come in the court and the player needs to go out outside and then need to wait for three, three attacks. And he maybe is ready, after five seconds, he is ready to to play and for us coaches maybe that player will be very important in the next uh, defense or offense and we need to wait three attacks for, for, for him to get in. I think that's it's not uh, advantage, it's yeah. disadvantage. Disadvantage, of yeah, course. Disadvantage. This, uh, this rule is uh, uh, they function, nobody lay down anymore at uh, who in after the goal, he don't lay down anymore there and waiting that Everything is stopped because he can change. But they all stay, stay up and go, go back. But yesterday, if you remember, I don't know, the first and the second match, it was the same. The player injured in attack. The referees went together, the discuss, and first they called the doctor or, or master and immediately gave two minutes for the opponent player for the defender. That's why it's no punishment for the player who injured in the attack. Yeah. I want to say uh, something about the fast center uh, decision. Uh, sometimes I see that the uh, referee allowed uh, the players not to be uh, beside, uh, behind the center line. Sometimes uh, they insist to be. And that is different decision and um, our, uh, they make a little bit nervous. Uh, 
to the, the coach be, uh, because they don't allow it, uh, to uh, team who, uh, who receive the goal to make a fast break. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter if uh, I have all my players behind the center line because uh, the fast center is uh, to catch the, the opponent team uh, in my field after scoring the goal to have uh, the players advantage and to make a faster, a faster goal. So for me, it's very important the first pass after the player who is in the middle of the line, who received the uh, ball from the goalkeeper, to be in, in passive in my in my uh, uh, my field, not in the opponent uh, field. It doesn't matter if all players are behind or somebody is uh, almost inside the, the opponent uh, the field. And uh, because of that, uh, I think that was uh, many many situation even in Champion League, even in this uh, competition world on Europe, where the referee make a different uh, the decision, and um, they make a problem about uh, their view if this is correct fast center or the, of, or if not uh, correct fast center. Uh, what do you think about the video referee? What I think about video video referee. Uh, video referee. Uh, I think that uh, should be because there is uh, many uh, uh, situation uh, when a referee cannot see enough uh, a good uh, what happened exactly if step the line or the foul was for red card or something like that. And I think that uh, should be used like a basketball or uh, some other uh, on the water polo to make a real the decision who uh, and to see the situation uh, must uh, better. Thank you. And what, think, uh, what do you think about the a different punishment, for example. Okay, Estonia. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, just the same what you had before. Maybe there should be like uh, for both team like two times possibility to take uh, video to check. Okay, mm -hmm. you want to try this? I don't know, in, like in volleyball or tennis or whatever. Yeah, two challenges maybe. Then it's like not every time, but so it's limited. Normal. Limited. Limited. Yeah. So, not so you can pick yourself. Not I every to attack this. to stop and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does the coach have a right to challenge the referee? Yeah, but maybe like two times, one half. Okay, thank you. EHF is not using this uh, rule because uh, in the World Championships uh, they used uh, video. Uh, I think they used it because uh, in Sweden, uh, the last uh, women European Championship, they used. I know, I know. And that. why EHF is not using? E e I just, e e just e use. And why e they are not using uh, in this competition? Maybe they have it. I, I, have, last, I haven't any match. information. Because Maybe they have it. They have to have it, I think. Just uh, not the two matches. Maybe the, they didn't have such, or they didn't have such situation when they wanted to. Because there was uh, tomorrow two uh, very rough uh, faults uh, in, in both wing, mm -hmm. and there was no. Just, there was just two minutes, as you said, uh, different violations. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody? About the about the video refereeing um, could be, I think, could be okay. But I think the referees or maybe the coaches, this idea is not bad. Uh, have to decide. Last year in the World Championship, for example, I remember one action that the person from IHF decided to watch the video just to decide if one change was wrong or not. And we were five minutes waiting for one change was wrong or not. Nobody in the table saw it. <laughs> Nobody in the, in the court saw it. And we were waiting five minutes to decide for one change. And also about the chains without advantage, I think it's okay if, the, if there are different punishments. For me, one situation without an advantage or one chains for five centimeters cannot be two minutes and one hit of the face also two minutes. I think it's difficult for me to sometimes to understand the, the criteria. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to add uh, the third referee on the field, 
uh, on each side assistant referee and one uh, uh, referee on the middle that would be the lead referee and maybe get uh, more salaries and he could maybe be professional. Uh, on each side uh, we would have uh, a video screen where the referee could assist uh, the other referees on the other side so he could see the two minutes or the fouls in a split second and maybe give them uh, yeah, and let them know right away if, if uh, it was a two-minute red card instead of stopping the game. And also, I would like to take the middle completely out of the game. The offense starts from directly after the goal, so it would be a faster game and I think more exciting. So something, something more from the referees, if I, if I may to say about it. A lot of time, I am very angry, really if I see the really obviously foul against the backcourt player, the ball, pom, 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 so, and the referee, so, we have to continue. What do you think about it? Do you understand? Yes? It's very obviously foul before the shot, and they should go two meters beside or over the goal or that will be very, very short because it is obviously foul and it is a tendency for the referees just to show continue. I think the referees must uh, protect the attacking play uh, much more uh, and that could be a, a solution for a number of players as well because uh, uh, if you can uh, take out these rough fouls and uh, other uh, things like this, I think there will be more space or less player uh, if you are going to punish this. Thank you. What are the criteria at the passive, passive play? One criteria is very important. It is, my opinion, intention. That if I cannot, if I cannot shot and nobody could give me the commando that I have to shoot from 50 meters on the goal. Intention. If I don't want to shoot a goal, okay. But I am also very angry if I watch a match zero to zero, and the first attack or the second attack, they show passive. Who the hell want to play zero to zero? Or the other one, one team has one or two goals disadvantage two minutes before the end and they have the ball, there's the attack and so also. But please, what is the aim, what is the purpose, what is the target for this team? To score the goal or not? And the referees, they show... Well, I don't want to uh, be against the referees, just uh, I think there are actual problems and we are the coaches and we have to we have to say our opinion about it and that's why it's important that we'll be sub uh, submitted to the uh, method commission and maybe to the highest body to the executive committee and they are the, the other problems also if Because uh, I am the member of the Methods Commission and sometimes I, I said, listen, this one, this one, this one, this one, and the answer, uh, it has to be, uh, it has to be, uh, it has to be same uh, opinion like the coaches, not just one coach or not just one person. That's why I think it is important. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, first, first thing, uh, I have problem with the coaches because uh, we are much faster than the basketball. Is it so? We are much faster sport, and we have two, uh, two referees, and they have three. They have much small, smaller court, and we have, we need to have uh, Iron Man to 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 see everything. Yeah, and that is the first thing. And second thing is, uh, after 10 years, I think we had uh, some changes about the rules. And from five, I think three are not strict. The last 30 seconds, the passive play and everything. And uh, my conclusion is that we 
uh, we are slow in changing stuff. We are too slow. We want to go forward and we have changed in 10 years five things and they are not strict. What do we want? So there's just one question. Football, football rules. <laughs> when did they change last time? Everything, every time something new. A line player, fifth, uh, fifth goalie and everything. And it is a slow game. No, it's I, so slow game. I, and uh, I, they have, I think, attendance, 100,000 people coming in the uh, stadiums. And we have 500 people. We have in Seha League uh, 500 people to saw the games. Uh, Champions League in Germany, 2,000 people in 10,000 uh, auditorium uh, arena. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, for uh, Sam Rose, uh, I think uh, today, okay, when we like new Rose, we don't have, we have only individual sanction. One player, he take, uh, he take two minutes, what's happened? He go out, outside two minutes, coach change goalkeeper, make other player. Inside, he play six against six. Why? So, you see, you have sanction, handball is collective sport. We must, you know, only, we have only individual sanction. I think one player, he go outside for, for two minutes, he go out in two minutes, and we play five against six. In this situation, don't change goal, goalkeeper. Don't change. Okay, this, other, other roles, I think we must, uh, because we want to play more faster each, after each goals, we don't play, uh, we, go, we play directly for uh, pass for goalkeeper. We don't come to center for attack. In, a, in this situation, we don't have problem. See goalkeeper, uh, see referees, see where's the foods, or where's the other players. We uh, allow you have more attractivity, all body run. And now what is to change? You have only players who play in two sides, offense and defense. You don't change specialist for defense, uh, specialist for this. I think this is so, so important. And what other things be dif difference between basketball and between handball? Handball is contact sport. Basket is not contact sport. Basket is a little bit. See, see we make fault in basket. And what is problem? See, you make 25 seconds. See, you, see you stop game every time. For the time, I think we have big problem. It's my opinion. Okay, thank you very much. About uh, changing the rules, I don't, I don't feel that the rules as such are a problem in handball. It's more uh, the different interpretations because we have uh, very different, different referees from different countries. And that, that makes it difficult. So, so uh, maybe we should get more standard more standard interpretation of the rules. So we know what's allowed and what's not. You're right, absolutely, that I come back to football. Do you, do you know uh, how long is the uh, football rules? How I many pages the football rules? Yeah, yeah maybe two. And, yeah, and our uh, rule board is, I don't know, 100 uh, interpretation, and it's not, I don't know. I, I, uh, that's why it's uh, subjective, because interpretation so and so and so. In football, very clear. Uh, I have a fi feeling that. Uh, after the goal, when the, the player don't need to stay on the line, then we take the, from the referee decide out. If we have just a rear, the circle in the middle, when the ball go in the circle and we play, it will be a little bit faster, and for referee also easier to to. So uh, so he yes. He. I am I am agree because in basketball also. When you no, need no the, through off, yeah. to stay on the line, then he yeah. can decide. It should be faster, yeah. Yeah, for sure.
Okay, this is the last time. I would just say one good thing. What, what, what I think it was good on the last World Championship for, for the women, uh, and that's a, a timeout button. So I think this button, when you press the, the button and then it's siren, it's better than when you need to put the paper on the table because it's a, so many situations that, for example, uh, if I'm here a coach and my team is on this side, and everybody look at the ball and attack and delegate and everybody, and then I want to make a timeout and he doesn't see it. And then when he see it, when he pick the whistle, when he whistle, I maybe scored the goal and I don't want to do that, I want to stop before. So I think this rule with the button and the siren is a better solution than this. So I think everybody should have that. You know the last World Championship in Germany. That was a good solution, yeah. I just want to mention about the, the ending time in uh, handball. Uh, we know that in basketball, uh, when the attack uh, finish, uh, they have lights on the table, and uh, we know everybody that uh, the attack uh, finish and uh, uh, the shoot is after uh, finishing attack or no. Yesterday on the match, uh, France Norway happened something strange because the French uh, get a penalty after the ending of time because the the foul was made it after the ending on time and referee if they didn't listen the the official sound of the time uh, uh, they allowed to wing to finish uh, the action and they uh, uh, refereed the, the penalty uh, because uh, this ending of time uh, make m also m many problems. Uh, we cannot stop the ball if the guard or every player shooting. We cannot stop the ball uh, uh, after uh, releasing from from the hand and say no shoot finish one meter uh, be uh, before the, the go inside inside the goal area. Uh, so uh, we must make something like in basketball. Uh, to make uh, some lights or something, or uh, to release uh, uh, the finish, the, the shoot, the, and to see the, uh, the ball will going inside the goal area or not. Uh, because um, there was many, many situations uh, when the, the teams react on this uh, decision uh, that that was goal, goal or not goal. This rule must be strict uh, because yesterday was really strange that uh, a referee allowed uh, the France team to make a penalty after the ending of time. I am fully agree with you in, in this question. about seven players in the game. Uh, I think in a street fight, if you fight against two men, perhaps you can win, but your chance to win is very bad. That's a handball too. I think if we want the fairness, then it will be fair to play six against six. Uh, and there are a lot of coaches in the Bundesliga and everywhere, they are against seven players. And I think that's, that's the bad rule, seven player, yeah. I think that's the bad rule, perhaps is that, that uh, my opinion, but it's not fair. It's always a situation uh, seven against six to, to have one more in the game and to, to, to make a goal. The second uh, opinion for me, that's the same like, like uh, Mirza said. If we uh, cut that situation after the goals to go to the middle line, there are a lot of problems, we don't have it. Because you don't have to, 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 to make decision I am one step over the line or not. We play immediately from, from the goal and make handball much more faster. So, in, at the referee uh, items, everyone is very active, like, like usually, all the countries. It's good, because I think, so we are sometimes 
lucky, sometimes very unlucky, sometimes happy, but uh, nobody could uh, be neutral about such items or the referee's item. Zuli, would you like to say something to this? Okay. So it's really connected to, uh, to your opinion also. One question, what do you think about it? Is it, uh, I forgot, is it necessary? Meeting of senior national coaches. I proposed also a lot of time, so a lot of times, so three times at the EHF. And they, they throw the ball every time back. I have to ask the coaches because I think to be the national uh, senior national coach is the highest position in the in the countries, and that's why the meeting of the senior national coaches it would be the highest body, so technical body, at the in Europe or in the world or uh, the EHF. What do you think about this? Necessary? It should be positive or not? Czekaj, wait. Uh, senior coaches. Senior coaches. No, 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 no. The senior, senior, senior. It could be. Union, like a, like a coach's body that, that we will. We will uh, union. Take, sorry, yeah. I, I, underst like, like I understood junior. Nah, nah, sorry, like it would take, take care of the, for example, problems. If 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 we have as a coaches some problems, then we can say to our representative, uh, this is what we think, and then he can say it on that meeting, what is about, because uh, referee have that. Referee are always connected, and uh, we coaches are. Uh, I have a feeling personally that sometimes when it's a game, we are alone. We don't have anyone who will protect us. And when we say something, like, I think maybe that's not two minutes, or I think maybe it's not a foul for seven meters, it's just words. And referee is always right. And, uh, right. and here when you ask a delegate, uh, lots of times delegates say, Oh, I cannot do anything, I'm just doing my job, I cannot stop the game, I cannot say to the coach, change the decision, because it's not in my power, and then what's the point? Because we always know that the referee is right. So sometimes you look like a fool if you say something that is true, you, in, in the start, you know that that's not, will happen. Uh, so maybe that kind of uh, body, use maybe for us coaches to can say something or problems or maybe to get in connection with the referees and, 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 and to try to find the equal language about those kind of things that, that, that happen on every game. So I think, I think about it, it would be necessary, the union of the coaches, because we are a lot of time really alone, so lonely, because if you lose, then you are the target on the center, everyone is against you, spectators, uh, the leaders, referees, and maybe the players also, then you are there, and we haven't a lot of right. If my club uh, will tell me tomorrow, and we finish with you, I cannot do anything. Okay, I have a contract, we can be agreed, they will pay, I don't know, three months, two months, nothing. Uh, but uh, the idea is very good. But first, it has to establish the union in the, in the own countries. And it's their own countries, I don't know, maybe five or six or seven or twenty, like a ring convention, then we can form a strong union in Europe. Yeah. But uh, the idea, I think it is, it is very good and impo it would be important. Yeah. 
Uh, football for a long time they have the union for sure in Hungary and in the different countries in, in Europe. Please. Uh, maybe uh, to have a union is a big process. We have six competitions each year, uh, senior, junior and cadet yes. com competitions. Maybe after competitions that uh, we have uh, national team coaches some talk to give some feedback about evaluation of the matches, of the referees, of decisions, of interpretation of the new rules. Maybe that's, that can be some kind of a start where coaches from competitions give some feedback to, to the uh, referee association or to AHF uh, to have some feedback that uh, coaches uh, tell their opinions, what they think about all stuff, not only referees, because we talk too much here about referees and referee stuff, and that's not for sure the thing that we have under control, but uh, regarding all things that are happening of, on the championships, uh, evaluation of the matches, uh, trends, referee decisions to have all together, but then maybe in a few years we are going to have compilation of similar things after each competition that uh, we can develop some new system, new strategy or something to avoid uh, same problems that we have on the same competitions, uh, repeated uh, competition after competition. Thank you very much. The idea is good, but the implementation is uh, not easy because end of the uh, European Championship, how many uh, teams will stay on, uh, at the event? Four. So 12 teams will go earlier, but I cannot accept from the coach. So during the uh, European Championship to come all together, first they will play four different uh, cities. It is. Uh, Implementation is, is, but you it can be some kind of online application where coaches can send their feedback. Uh, after I was on some courses, that all participants give some f online feedback regarding hundred stuff. After the so competition, maybe we can do it after the competition. Yeah. That yeah. all coaches uh, make some. Rep remarks, reports regarding different stuff, not only uh, referring or something. That's something that can take half an hour of job. Uh, some years ago I tried to, no, I collected a questionnaire about the rules and the different uh, uh, topics and the EHF sent for all handball federation in Europe. Till now, maybe just a half of the uh, country sent back the answer and not the person who was responsible for example trainer education so someone the fellow oh, yeah. you have to fill out and then send back that that's why this idea is very good so so uh, really but then I cannot check who sent it mm -hmm. and to be together you know then face to face it's, I think it's much better, okay, uh, uh, much uh, uh, expensive, so uh, more expensive. But it is just the idea, the implementation uh, decision is of the EHF. Just the idea, if we, if we think about it, it, it should take the sport ahead, if you think it, because it's, they know my opinion, then we can as only can write down and we can submit for yes, the highest because, body. Uh, we basically have situation that uh, referee, referees, not refer referees, are leading the structure of our sport. They are leading, not we, not the players. Yeah. They are leading the whole structure of our sport. We can make, if we have four cities, in each city, when is a day off, one hour meeting. It's, it, there is no one that can say it's not possible. It is possible if you want to develop and give your, your job and uh, enough intention to, to raise. As you know, the International Handball Federation has a body, a commission, a playing and the rule commission. Why they have it? The rules are for every, everyone. So very important the opinion of the coaches because we, we are busy 
all days with this one very important the opinion of the players because they play the match and they know that it is dangerous, it's not so dangerous and very important for me, uh, the opinion of the media. But that's why we don't let to close out us to interpret uh, for the interpretation or, or for the modification or the new rules. And that's why it's our, or your opinion is very important because I repeat again, you work every day one times, two times the sports for girls, uh, boys, senior, junior, youth. I think we know that closer the problems. Uh, it's possible to make do it better cooperation at the European Handball Federation and National Federation Handball. I think today we have so many coaches. Uh, I think it's not good because one coach is, I, now I play for senior teams, he do it two functions. He's coach for national team, and he's coach for, head coach for one club. Why? Because I think uh, we must, uh, one coach, he must do it. Only one function, in club, one selection, national selection. Why? Because you have so many coach out of jobs, and you have coach who do it to double function. Okay, uh, when you, so you see now you have each, each two years one competition, he leaves the clubs for one month, two months of the year, in the year, and you have coach, he looking the game in the TV, he won't work, working. Uh, that's, his, that's his big problem. Today, it's only in handball, you have coaches who do it, national team, uh, looking now in the Europe Championship, you have, uh, you have Macedonia, we have Slovenia, you have, uh, uh, Hungary, Denmark, hey, that, that, you, that is, uh, it's, not, it's not possible. For me, it's, it's, not, it's not okay. I am agree with you, but uh, because of the employee right, sorry, but employer, employee right, if I take two jobs somewhere, nobody can tell me that I, I must not do it. It is also a job. No, you take two jobs in half times. It's possible. Maybe you take two jobs Main in time. full times. It's not, it's, you have interdiction. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, see, you have one job in full time, a second job in half time, it's possible. But it's, it's not possible you do it two jobs in two full times. For, uh, it's okay. impossible. But is this question uh, of the right, of the right, so national and international right? I agree with you. Maybe you listen my uh, my lecture, uh, my lecture, and I thought that this. I don't. I am not agree with this one, but okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes. <laughs> I took uh, this sign so everybody want to go, then I would like to uh, say you thank you for your contribution and activity and as I mentioned we will make a report and we will send to the Methods Commission. I wish you a nice evening and we will see uh, tomorrow each other at, at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Thank you.